it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. This is week two of the Lizzie Blanket Crochet Along. This week is called Elizabeth. Now, this here was week one and that one was called Jane. So today I am here to show you how to do the five rows of Elizabeth. These five rows you will have to repeat six times, so that will give you 30 rows in total to do this week. I am here making a sampler in the five first colours of every week. So that's what I'm going to do now as well. And I'm hoping that you will create along on your sample just in a leftover colour. Of course, for the colours and for the written pattern, do go to the blog and find the pattern and the colour list there. Let's get started. Now, this is the last row of week one so you will have ended in sage beans so the color for elizabeth one is teal so i'm going to pull through the teal there we go we've changed color now i'm going to chain one turn and i'm going to do a double crochet in this first stitch so i'm going to do my double crochet there we go. And then, of course, we are going to be replacing our stitch marker. There we go. And now, for the rest of this Elizabeth one row, we are going to do double crochets all along the row. So, as you have been used to, on top of the bean, you are going to put a stitch into that stitch on top of there and then you are going to do one around the chain space. So Elizabeth one is a row of double crochets. So here on my sampler I will be doing 32 double crochets and you on your blanket there will be 194 double crochets to do. So each week is made up of five rows. Three of those will be normal, straightforward rows like this one, a full row of double crochets. And two of those will be special rows where we do a nice stitch or we make it a little bit more interesting. And it is in those special rows that we count our repeats so that you can keep on top of the correct number of stitches in your row. Here I'm at the end of the row, so one on top one in between there and one in my stitch marker. There we go. And we don't do the last pull through because of course that is where we are going to change color. Of course, if you're working along on your sampler here, then you will just keep going and you will do the five rows together with me without changing color, but working with your leftover yarn. OK, so we are ready for the next colour. I've got gold here. This is the row Elizabeth 2. So I'm going to pull through the gold, do my turning chain, turn my work. And I'm going to do a double crochet into the very first stitch here. And of course, first of all, I'm going to transfer my stitch marker and now we are going to do a row of boxes so we are going to chain one 
skip one, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip, double crochet. Chain one, skip, double crochet. And this is how you are going to continue this row. Like I said, some of the special rows make for texture. Some of them make for openings, make for holes. So this one is one of those. Okay, so we're nearly at the end. And here, if I just continue my sequence, then you will see that I have an extra stitch left at the end with the stitch marker in it. And that's perfectly all right. We are just going to do a double crochet yeah, in that one too. There we go. So we will end in two double crochets. And in fact, yeah, I should not have done that last pull through because of course we are changing colour. So let me cut this one off. And now on to parchment for row Elizabeth 3. So let me pull it through. Chain 1. Turn. And this is a row of half double crochets. So you yarn over into the very first stitch and you do your half double crochet once again. Move the stitch marker and off you go doing another half double crochet straight away because remember we had two double crochets right next to each other and then we are going to get started by doing a half double crochet around the chain space and then one into the stitch around and in and around and in and so this once again is one of the normal rows and you're doing half double crochets all along the row and at the end of course you've got one to go round the chain space and then one to go into the stitch with the stitch marker. There we go. And of course, you're not going to pull through because we are doing that in the next color. So there we go. So that was Elizabeth three. So we are ready for the next color. The next color is Mocha. This is row Elizabeth four. So I'm going to pull through the Mocha do my turning chain and turn and I am going to do a double crochet in the first stitch and indeed yes I'm going to transfer my stitch marker there we go okay so now we are going to do the repeat for a wrapped bean. So first of all you're going to do a double crochet in the next two stitches. So in the next stitch a double crochet and in the next stitch you do a double crochet. Then you are going to do a bean but this time you're not doing it like we did in week one into a stitch. You are going to do your bean around the body of this second double crochet that you did. So you yarn over, you insert in between the two stitches, you pull up a loop, you yarn over, back in between those two stitches, pull up a loop, yarn over, in between and pull up a loop. So you now have seven loops on your hook Yarn over and pull through the seven loops on your hook. Now you're going to skip a stitch 
and into the next stitch you're going to do yeah a double crochet and into the next stitch you do another double crochet so we've started our second repeat already now you do your wrapped bean around that second double crochet skip a stitch one double crochet in the next one double crochet in the next and a wrapped bean around that second double crochet and this is how you are going to continue all along your row and if you want to count your wraps because of course this is a special row you should have 64 wraps in your blanket row of course And here I'm at the end of the row so I've done my two double crochets my wrap so I'm skipping this stitch here as usual and then I have my stitch left with the stitch marker and in there I'm just going to do a double crochet there we go and I'm not pulling through the last one because of course I'm changing color so I really enjoyed that Okay, so changing colour and now we are on to Walnut for Elizabeth 5 and for this stitch we are going to do double crochets in every stitch. So pull it through, chain 1, turn, double crochet to get started change the position of your stitch marker is that it <laughs> there we go and now we are going to be doing a double crochet in every v that you see so carefully pick up the v's and this is once again a normal row where you're just doing a row of double crochets all along the row. So once again you should be doing 194 stitches. And the last stitch of course here we are and waiting for that color change so this is this week's sequence so Elizabeth one is a row of double crochets Elizabeth two is a boxes row Elizabeth three is a row of half double crochets Elizabeth four is the wrapped bean and Elizabeth 5 is the double crochet row. So after this row, of course, you're going to get started on Elizabeth 1 again. And that is a double crochet row. So you've got two double crochet rows after another. And that's quite easy to, you know, marry the two together, really. So you should now have, let me find it here. You should now have your sample about this size. So you should have your first five rows of week one and then we have our next five rows of Elizabeth or week two. So these are the rows we are doing this week. I hope you are enjoying crocheting your blanket. If you are wanting to show off your progress or you have some questions or maybe some advice for others to help them make this blanket then do please go to our facebook group to share your ideas and your pictures
thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!